It's time for Inside Hart County Football with Coach Rance Gillespie. Recorded in Studio 604B in the Hart College and Career Academy. Here's your host, Doc Ayer. Good afternoon. Welcome to Inside Hart County Football. I'm Doc Ayers, joined by Coach Rance Gillespie. Coach, four up, four wins. Yeah, we're uh, we're excited to be there. Uh, excited to be at that point, and uh, you know, uh, it's kind of been a uh, a quick uh, first half to the uh, to the season. Not quite the half, but you know, once we uh, once we complete this off week and get into Jackson next week, we'll be right at the halfway point. And it's uh, it's uh, been pretty smooth. Um, you know, certainly there's some some areas that uh, that, that we need to learn from, and uh, certainly this uh, this past weekend was uh, was one of those. Uh, a lot of a lot of different things, a lot of different areas where we can learn uh, as a football program, and and from a cultural standpoint, how to handle some things. Uh, and there was a lot thrown at our kids this weekend. Um, you know, by the by the weather, and 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 by Madison too, and and so uh, you know a lot of a lot of things that uh, that we can grow from and hopefully become a better football team and not just football team but also a program as we continue to move forward. I know Friday night got over there, got warm up, completed, we're going off the field and then the first lightning delay and then you have to wait. It, it really throws the weekend in turmoil. Well, you know, one of the biggest things as a, as a coach that you worry about is having your team uh, not only physically ready, but also mentally ready and emotionally mm -hmm. ready. And, and so you, you throw that routine out of whack with a delay uh, is certainly one of the things that's a concern. And then you have to come back on a totally different day, um, you know, and all of those things uh, you know, become become factors that uh, that you have to address, that you have to deal with as a as a football team. And so, I, you know, uh, it's unfortunate, uh, but it it is an opportunity for uh, for us to uh, to grow. And then Saturday night starts off. You get about four plays run, and here comes another weather yeah, delay. You got to kick off and three three snaps defensively, and then we're off the field for another hour. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's look at the first half. From Saturday night, but gotta be careful with that. I think we may be having a little bit of computer trouble. You know, here we go. Kickoff start the ball game. Yeah, you know, our kickoff team has played pretty well all year long, and uh, we continue to do that. We got some guys that are setting a great pace on that team. You know, LJ Rucker has played really well. Uh, on that team, and uh, and he's not the only one. Certainly, we got a bunch of guys that are flying around and uh, and playing well on the kickoff team. Thought Cayman had a really really good game, had a lot of big plays, and uh, played well for us. And this is the last snap before we get to the delay, and um, then we come back out and uh, get a, get an opportunity to do this. And uh, Monte makes a great play on the pitch. Uh, kind of get us started, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of a crazy play here, but it ends up working out for us, and uh, we get the ball on the, the perimeter and uh, end up uh, punching it in from, from about the 25 there, and uh, go up 7 to nothing. Kick off again. Yeah, you watch some of these guys, and, uh, and they're fun to watch. Uh, they're, you know, yeah. the way you see the, the contact yeah. right there and, uh, and good coverage. So I thought, uh, you know, for the most part against the run game, we, uh, we played more discipline than we did against Commerce. Uh, you know, our hats were where we were supposed to be. Uh, still want to improve on some of our tackling, uh, but, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, we did a good job being where we were supposed to be. Get, to, get another turnover. Two big turnovers there to start the game and, uh, you know, come out and it's kind of bang, bang. And, uh, you know, but we, uh, we had far too many penalties. Uh, you know, it seemed like every uh, – Every big run was followed by by hold or, or something, and uh, put ourselves in some bad situations there, and uh, just can't uh, can't continue to have the self inflicted wounds. Good little scramble here out of out of Luke, uh, put it down inside the ten again, and um, did a. Uh, did it, 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 they had done a pretty good job of trying to take away uh, some of our outside zone and we went to a couple of different pieces in our offense. And the athletic play here out of Luke get, kind of gets stepped on coming away and it manages to get regain his balance and got Kane in the corner there for, uh, for the next touchdown. 
13 nothing kickoff again and again good coverage yeah you watch bodies start flying around yeah. and it means that uh you know we're uh, we're we're playing playing pretty physical on that team Kind of hard to see here, but we miss a tackle in, the, in that big pile. Great effort play there at a, at a scooter, and, uh, and we end up getting this stopped. And uh, oh. instead of a uh, instead of a touchdown, we uh, were able to hold them to uh, hold them to three here. Good play on the midline, and uh, great good. effort on the uh, on the kick. And had a. Uh, uh, th this is big because what they're wanting you to do is kind of waste this and, and, and call a fair catch. And uh, I thought, uh, you know, we had a had a good plan going into it, and I thought our kids executed it really well. And be able to make a play on a special teams down instead of just forfeiting an, an opportunity for uh, for a play there. We get the ball again on their side of the fifty. We've had it three times so far, and yeah. every time we've had it, uh, you know, on their side of the on their side of the fifty. Good run here out of uh, JL. I think JL's continuing to understand what we're wanting and understand where to put the ball. And you know, obviously he's running the ball really hard. And uh, good, uh, good job there. Another big hit out of LJ here, and uh, miss a tackle. This ball gets out on us a little bit, but uh, kind of get it. Uh, about to get third. it stopped there at the 30. Our goal is, is you know, we want to stop it at the 20 mm -hmm. or, or inside. Good job fitting the buck sweep, uh, which, you know, you see, you see our kids improving on how we're fitting things and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where we're fitting. Our hat placement is so much better. Uh, so I think we have, uh, you know, continued to show improvement on, uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Imagine it comes from an understanding of the game. Yeah, and, and some of it is, is, you know, this is our second time seeing this uh, this style of offense, and uh, that uh, that always helps as well. End up going for it here on fourth down, and uh, able to convert and keep the chains moving. And, um, you know, and I thought at this point we got a little sloppy mm -hmm. uh, offensively, uh, made some mistakes that uh, that we don't normally make. Uh, and like I said uh, prior to uh, prior to watching the tape, you know, there's a there's a hundred different reasons for that. Uh, but I thought, you know, some, at, at some point we kind of pressed instead of just taking the things that uh, that we should have. And um, you know, it, it, it cost us, and it's a uh, it's an opportunity for our kids to uh, to learn from that. Good play out of them, and uh, we, we bust, a, bust a rotation in the coverage mm -hmm. and uh, just didn't get back to where we were supposed to get to, and they, they make us pay for it and have a big play. Stop the two-point play. Again, don't kick it deep. and Kind of a wild kick with the, with the squib there. That ball's rolling around forever, but uh, did a good job getting on it at the, uh, at the end of the day. We're kind of playing conservative here, uh, kind of you know looking at getting the uh, getting the thing to half. I think there were you know maybe three minutes left to go in the half, and probably a little bit more conservative than we would uh, we would uh, normally be. The ball in that situation, just uh, trying to shorten it a little bit and get it to uh, get it to halftime. Defense comes out and plays a. Uh, Plays really good, gives us a stop, and I think we had, end up with one more one offensive more. snap uh, prior to uh, prior to the first half. Force the punt. All right, take it to the locker room. And it was and it, the first half was a long half when you put the weather delay into it. It was almost like right. playing two games. Yeah, no doubt. And you know, it was uh, kind of a roller coaster of the first half. There were there were pieces of it. You know, obviously with the with the turnovers and the way we were fitting the run game defensively, uh, really good. Played pretty well, special teams wise, and uh, you know had 
put some snaps together at times offensively, just not very consistent offensively, and you know it's a little bit a uh, little bit frustrating with some of the things that we were uh, we were doing there. All right, we'll take a break. We come back. We'll look at the second half and talk about an open week. You're watching Inside Hart County Football. Hart County High School is about academics, sports, and training. Bulldog Chow. Reading. Teamwork. Brilliant minds. Preparing for the future. Hart County High School is the school made for us. Welcome to Dog Talk, joined by Cayman Rucker. Cayman, player of the game for Madison. Yes, sir. Uh, kind of an odd weekend, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was crazy, man. It seems like the weather wouldn't let us play when we wanted to. Cayman, you're a senior approaching the end of the career. How has football changed you from when you stepped on the playing field as a ninth grader to today? Um, I feel like it's changed my mindset a lot. Just um, when going on the football field, man, you, for one, it's a family field, man. I feel like even if leadership where it wasn't where it needed to be, I feel like it was always family at the end of the day. Whether we lost a game, whether we won a game, it was just always family. But I feel like what changed me the most is just like my determination, my mindset for the game. And um, I feel like every day that we go out to practice, it may be days where I don't feel like I want to go. Maybe it's days that I don't feel like this is going to go right, but I have people supporting me. I have my mindset feeling like, look, man, you're going to have to kick it in, man. It's just you're going to have to practice whether you want to or not. And I just go 100%. And not only has that affected me on the football field, it's affected me throughout my social life outside of football as well. Talk about the effect of having to learn to balance if a seventh or eighth grader came to you and asked advice, mm -hmm. he was going to play, mm -hmm. what would you tell him? I would tell him, don't be discouraged. I feel like with a lot of young people that play, um, like just middle schoolers, ninth grade, tenth graders in general, they kind of feel discouraged because they aren't they're either not starting or they're not getting as much playing time as others or they just feel like they're not going to cut out weight room wise. They're not lifting as much as others. Uh, my biggest thing would just stay, stay, stay encouraged, stay in there, man. Don't quit because I mean, like your time will come. You just got to keep on working hard, stay hard in the classroom. That's you got to keep that first and just just keep on trucking, man. Just don't ever don't don't quit on yourself and don't quit on the others around you. Committed to North Carolina, Mac Brown. Why North Carolina? Why North Carolina? North Carolina, man, it's it's crazy. When I first went up there for um they hadn't met when Coach Mac Brown came over during the summer, he had a showtime camp up there in Chapel Hill. And that was my very first time going in the area. So when I went up there it was like my first experience with everything, coaching staff, facility, the place as a whole. And North Carolina, man, they, they're a special place. The people over there are amazing. The coaching staff is very, is just top of the line, man. They've played, they either played there before or they um, coached beside Mac Brown before. It's just, it's a whole family field, a football team. They're just showing so, like, good results every, every game, every practice. We've seen them practice, and it's just like, you can see what Coach Matt Brown is doing within Chapel Hill, and everybody's just rallying behind them. You got the whole community of Chapel Hill right behind them, and and I feel like <clears throat> they are part of a rebuilding period because in the past couple of years they haven't been as successful as others. But with Coach Matt Brown coming in, stepping in with his um, with his expertise with um, national championships and his winning records, it's um, it's, feel, it's very humbling that I get to be a part of that. Came in and talk about this year's team, 4 0 at the midway point. What do you think the legacy of this team will be? The legacy of this team, I feel like I relate this to North Carolina as well. We were part of a rebuilding period, and now we're actually reaping what we, we've been sowing for the past, couple, like past few years, man. Us starting at 4 0 before going into the region is. 
I feel like we're leaving a big leg legacy because this is something we haven't done in a long time, and I feel like this is this is our year. Okay. I really do. Thank you, Kamen. Yes, sir. Thank you. The Hart County College and Career Academy provides new and improved learning opportunities to students in our community. With new technology and new equipment in every classroom, students have the resources to ensure a better education. We guarantee that the Hart County College and Career Academy will further prepare students for their future and their careers. Hart County College and Career Academy, preparing students for their future. Welcome back. Well, to come out and start the second half, it's always, you know, the mindset is assume, or take charge of that first five minutes. Right. Yeah, and certainly, uh, certainly we wanted to play a little bit cleaner than or a lot cleaner than we had, you know, on the, the couple of possessions there prior to uh, prior to the half. And, um, you know, I thought uh, I thought for the most part we did that. Second half, you know, this is the second game with this year. We've had two backs over 100 yards in the same game. Offensive line really asserted itself in the second half in times to do a, to give those backs a crack at that number. Yeah, and there, there were uh, I thought there were places that we played uh, played really well, uh, and there were places that uh, that we didn't play as well as we have up to this point. Mm -hmm. Um, and that that goes for the the, the entire team, and um, you know, um, and 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 me and me included. Uh, you know, there were uh, there were times where uh, you know I go back and I I question a, a, a couple of the play calls that I had in the first half, and um, but you know, at the end of the day, we got those things fixed and um, and looked a little bit better in the second half. All right, let's look at the second half. Madison kicks off when we take the first possession, and they. Kind of the same thing, and with the squib, we just go ahead and take it at the uh, take it at the thirty-five. Good physical run here, and we're fitting the run a lot better here. So, um, get into some of our some of our quick game, and uh, you know this is uh, for the most part a, a pretty decent uh, pretty decent drive. Missed the double team on the uh, on the three technique there, and didn't uh, didn't get it, and we have a have a bust. Uh, end up uh, faking the uh, faking the punt. And uh, get the first down, and then this is kind of a kind of a wild play. We're obviously off sides there, but it doesn't get called, and uh, push the ball down to uh, the 25, and then we get back to back 15 yarders after that, um, and kind of kind of stalls us out. And then that was kind of the kind of the story of the night, you know. I mean, we're we're starting a a good drive. We faked a punt that has put us in really good situation. Uh, got a couple of good things going and. Uh, end up in it was like third and thirty, um, so good cover. Same thing, and uh, just uh, just missed a couple of the rotations there um, on the uh, on the, the play actions, and you know that's the the one thing that is really difficult about playing this style of offense is. Uh, you got to be good against all phases, especially when they got a quarterback like him uh, that can uh, can put the ball where it's supposed to be. I thought we did a nice job with our counter. Mm -hmm. uh, they were getting into a lot of bare front stuff, and I uh, thought our kids did a good job uh, running the, the the counter play and getting some misdirection going in our uh, in our run game. I'm able to mix in, uh, you know, some of our RPO stuff and uh, some of our perimeter uh, quick game, and mm -hmm. uh, did a nice job with that. Good physical run. We got to hang on to the football. Make sure we stand up and hand it to the official. And he, he was, you know, obviously down, but we want to uh, make sure we give it to the official at the end of the day. Let's handle the snap. And unsuccessful again great job covering well, I don't have to cover that one because it was out of bank yeah good fit I thought uh, thought our linebackers played better uh, and, and again if you watch uh, watch our physicality you know in, in the way we are attacking some of the blocks it's uh, uh, 
continues to get better and better. Good fit, good run on the uh, on the counter play there. This ball almost gets out, and you know, their uh, their free safety is a good player. He ended up making a making a lot of plays for them that stopped uh, some some really big plays. A little play action look, and Kane had another uh, big night for us uh, receiving, and I think we uh, I think we threw for right at a hundred yards, yeah. uh, which is. Uh, a good add to uh, to the run game that we've got going so far this year. The thing I like about the throwing game you complete it at about 65, 70 percent, and that's you know that's what we want to do. We want to be we want to be high uh, high rate of completion and uh, you know make a make those chances count and certainly make them uh, defend the the uh, the entire field. Good job on the screen pass for the touchdown. Opening up the league gets this kind of an offense really out of their comfort zone. Yeah, and that's a, that's a big thing. You know, if you can get what you wanted to try to do is get two possessions up on, a, you know, on a on an option style football team, and then uh, you know you got a got a chance to kind of wind it out a little bit, and that's kind of where we're at at this uh, at this point. It was a great play off the backside by Cayman. Mm -hmm. Chasing it down, got a big return. End up running into the into the punter there, um, but got a uh, got a return for a touchdown and again. You know, I think we have played pretty well in our special teams, and I think that goes unnoticed a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you go back and you look at our first four games, uh, we've done some really nice things in our uh, in our special teams. Certainly, there's uh, there's some areas that we've got to continue to get better at, but um, but we're playing pretty good. Special teams football, which is a uh, is a big piece of, of winning football games. And good cut there out of JL, and uh, you know, kind of just trying to take control of the football game and shorten uh, limit their their opportunities. Hard to get that young man down when he gets his, gets started. He's strong and uh, end up running a little. Uh, naked play there on the, uh, the last play to uh, to be able to run it out. Coach 4-0, oh, it's been a long time. But you and I have talked off camera. We've talked in the, this team is still not where it can be. No, we're, we can play better football than we did on Friday. And, and, and I don't say that to take anything away from Madison. No. Uh, I thought Madison played really hard and, and they're, uh, they're athletic. Uh, but certainly, when you have uh, have ten penalties and um, you know the the self inflicted wounds that uh, that we created, mm -hmm. those things uh, need to be and have to be cleaned up for us to get to where we want to get to, and uh, and and we want to play to our standard. I know it sounds like I say that every week, and I do, mm -hmm. but I don't think that we have reached our full potential yet, and that's uh, you know that's the goal is for our football team to reach its full potential. You mentioned coming up on week five in the start of reach and play next weekend. There's assorted theories about good timing, bad timing for open dates. Open date this week, I watched a little bit of practice Monday, a little bit of Tuesday. This is time to tune up yeah, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things that uh, that you want to accomplish. Uh, you know, we've been five straight if you count the scrimmage. Right. And it's been five straight weeks of, of of football, and so I think, uh, especially this first open date is good timing, and uh, that's the one that I was able to control mm -hmm. and uh, and put where I kind of wanted it. And then and there are some different philosophies. Some people like to play. You know, one game and then have the open week and and use it as a as a pure corrections type mm -hmm. thing. Okay, um, I'd rather have it after a, after a little stretch. Okay, now you would hope that the open date that you draw, which is the second one from the region, would be a little bit later. It's not. 
you know, unfortunately, we're going to play one and then we're going to have another week off. Yeah. So that that is what it is. Uh, but uh, I think this has fallen for us at a pretty decent time uh, because, like I said, it's not just uh, it's not just tune up, although that is some of it, and, and correcting and getting better and continuing to move forward as a football team. It's also trying to manage your team mm -hmm. through a marathon that is a season, mm -hmm. and um, you know that's a, that's a part of it. So it gives you an opportunity to take some kids and maybe um, limit some of their reps throughout the week, and, and maybe you know get them a little bit uh, more towards healthy as you go into uh, go into region play. Uh, you get an opportunity to, to get ready for, for your first region game in Jackson. Uh, so there's a, uh, there's a, there's a lot that, uh, that goes into the week. Well, enjoy the weekend off. I know y'all are going, I know that it'll be a weekend off for the kids, but I know if there's somebody playing in the area down the line, most of you or all of you will be going somewhere to watch. Yeah, we're going to go watch a little football on Friday and uh, see some of our opponents that are uh, that are coming up on the schedule and then uh we will uh we'll be in the office on sunday we're working and and finalizing the, the game plan for for jackson you know we, we started that this week but we'll finalize it on sunday okay. all right well we'll see you in two weeks sounds great doc right. appreciate right. it thank you that does it for the night and we'll see you on in two weeks for a report on the jackson game and a preview of jefferson